Hey everyone, welcome back to the table. So today what we've got going on is a change of location temporarily. The normal camera setup and table I use are currently set up with a game that I'm recording in session. So I, I had to shift gears and got my old trusty tripod from days of old out. And we're gonna take a look at Bismarck Second Edition. This, I don't know much about the history because there was an Avalon Hill Bismarck game, which I think was different than this. This is the Avalanche Press Bismarck game. And I guess that came out like a decade ago and it's really hard to get. But now here's second edition. And from the website, what I'm seeing is Avalanche Press is going to do like all of their World at War, uh, World at War C games. So Bismarck has done second edition, came out this year at some point. Uh, and then they're going to do like South Pacific, Midway. So I'm like really excited to see those because this is one I've seen for a while and I hear good things about it and it seems kind of elusive to get. It seems like, you know, just like a classic kind of game. And I'm thought, yeah, I'm going to get it because, well, I like World War II naval gaming and I don't have the time to paint all of those miniatures to play, but if I get them in a board game format, that's cool too. So Bismarck picture, and now this includes a lot of counts. I think it said, it had on here, uh, there was a number, and it said that it includes, it's kind of hard to read, the, the font, the typing kind of blends into the picture a little bit, 630 playing pieces. So there's a lot of ships, um, command markers, I'm sure, status markers, things like that. And I have to film this backwards, back in the, kind of the old days, so it takes me a second to line this up. But here we go. We're going to rip the... Oh, so satisfying to rip the plastic off of a new game. Guy, Only if it cooperates. And this is cool. It's a slipcase game. I have very few of those, but this is cool. So we're gonna slip that off. Ah, look at that. All right, so what comes in here? I, you know, for having so many counters, I thought this would be like a bigger box, but I'm surprised at how, how small and thin this is actually, a small box. So here's the rule book and not one of those glossy, this is just old fashioned black and white paper. Now, I'm holding this upside down, um, so obviously I can't really show you a whole lot here because I can't read upside down very good, but we have quite a bit. This rules, actually, it's a lot, a lot more rules than I thought. 28 pages, and then we go more. So it ends at 54 pages. Now, how much of that is rules? Where does the special rules, advanced rules, things like that stop? Looks like this might have some scenarios. Okay, so the rules might stop a lot sooner. Battle 24 down here. Okay, so yes, we are in scenarios currently. I'm going backwards through the book. Yeah, see, if I was going to do a scenario like this where it has a list of cruisers, destroyers, and whatnot, uh, that would be a lot of miniatures to have to worry about. So uh, getting this, the miniatures are great for me in terms of I can buy a handful and you do some skirmish stuff, some what if things, um, you know, you get in the nitty gritty specific details of damage. But honestly, yeah, if you want to get into something bigger, this lets you run stacks of ships and now you can have quite a few. And that's why I wanted to try this is because I wanted to try larger battles but not have to deal with all the miniatures. Now, if I had other friends in the area that did naval gaming, which I do, I have at least one, and he likes the naval gaming, and he does have a lot of ships, but you know, I can't always get over there. But anyway, I'm still going backwards, but this will let me play games, even, even solo. Okay, look, I'm still in scenarios, and we've already gone back in time to page 20. Battle scenario eight. Oh, well then good news then, folks. The rules, where does it stop? Where does it begin? What does it say? World of War, C, Business Second Edition, Introduction. Is this all scenarios? It didn't say on the cover that it was a scenario book, but you know what? 
This wasn't rules at all. This was entirely a scenario booklet. Okay, they fooled me. Okay, well, cool. I can go with that. So we have a scenario book chock full of 54 pages of scenarios. Then we have the data book, ship data book. Now that one is clearly labeled ship data book. There's got to be more to this. Is this really just scenarios? Components, game rules. Uh, you know what? Is this an expansion? I guess there's another box I need to get. Maybe there's rules in here that I just haven't got to yet. Ha ha ha! There they are. Man, I was worried for a minute. I was like, how am I going to play without rules? Oh, this has got some charts and things within the rules. Okay, so here's the ship data book. Now, I saw the original Grognard. Uh, he was doing some of this system. It was like the South Pacific stuff. And I like the data form. The rules seem pretty good because this gives you a little bit of flavor, a little bit of detail. You got secondaries, tertiary guns. I think there's like primary for some of them. So it does model some of those aspects of, of the different types of ships. You got your hull points and uh, armor ratings. and So there's a little bit of crunch and a little bit of detail, but not overwhelming. So it should be fairly easy to manage rather large lengthy battles, if you will. And there's a lot of ships. So again, this is gonna give you a lot of options. I mean, I'm just flipping, I saw US Coast Guard of all things. So there, ship data, lots of ships. So yeah, I'm gonna look, I don't think these are available online because this is one of the selling points of a game would be to get the ship data logs. So if you play, you're probably gonna have to make photocopies, but I will search the website because it's, I have a very bad habit of researching something before I open it and show you guys. So I'm gonna have to go back to the website and just see what available downloads they have. Although from the past, from what I've seen, Avalanche Press doesn't put a lot of information out there on their website for, for download. So I will look, because I could be wrong. I do remember there was once a spot where, you know, they said as long as you own the game, here's some resources you can download. So I will go back. I'll see if any of this is available. Easier to print out. Otherwise, I gotta photocopy it off my printer, which can do if needed. So ship data, then the rules. Okay, so the rules here are feeling weighty, as I was expecting. So the other book clearly was all scenarios. Here is the rules. They got the index on the cover. So rules-wise, we're hitting page 39. There's torpedo combat at the end. So unless this is advanced rules, you're still looking at a fair amount of rules. Two columns. Uh, okay, advanced rules. So I'm seeing if I can, well that was labeled advanced rules. I'm wondering, there's some special rules. I'm just seeing if there's a spot that just simply says, you know, basic rules. I guess that would start at the first page there, rules. So let me go back and find where it said advanced rules. Well here, let me look at the index. Index has the introduction, components, prepare to play, sequence of play, naval operations, surface combat, ship damage, damage ships, Air operations, air search, air to air combat, air strikes. Advanced rules start in section 15. Okay, so let me go and find section 15. That way I can say I use some of my tools at my disposal and that was the index. Right there. Okay, so page 28 starts the advanced rules, which means we're looking at 27 pages of basic rules. So that's quite a bit, but again, like most things, I'm not going to let that intimidate me because there are probably rules that I don't need right away. Like I saw there was mind sweeping and things like that. I pretty much am going to just focus a little bit on how to move on the maps, how to do the combat. And because there's also like the operational level and tactical level, you know, uh, baby steps, you know, start with the tactical, then move out to the strategic part. Oh, here we go. Here is your log sheet. Okay, I'm just looking at the items there. You got a nice player aid log sheet for tracking. I believe that would be for ships and things. So you can either write it all out by hand or I'm not quite sure how you would use that log yet. I know. I feel bad for showing you stuff I don't know how to use. 
here is the, now from what I saw, this is the tactical map. Oh, and it is labeled tactical map. So this is pretty big. I mean, that's all relative, right? It's not the size that counts, but how you use it. And, you know, you're going to move them around on the hexes here, but it is paper. And I think that was something that the uh, original Grognar was talking about, is if the, the older the game, you get stuff on hard mounted maps. So this is paper maps. So I'm going to have to be careful with that and not to ruin the creases and have this all fall apart. Second World at War Task Force card. Now I think though from older versions, these didn't have pretty graphics in the background. So they've upped this a little bit and they put their play aids with some graphics. Second World War at Sea, here's some tables. It is double sided. Was this Task Force? That's just single sided. Double sided. So you get a play aid, double sided play aid cardboard with, or card stock with some pictures on there. Here's another Task Force card. I would assume there's got to be one for you, one for your opponent. And again, nice color background. Give it something to kind of highlight what you're looking at. Some more play aids and other, other tables. So, so far like two play aids, two task force cards, another play aid of tables, double sided. And I love the graphics on that. I mean, just because it's got the, can the guns, the cannons, it's very cool looking. All right, and more play aids. So that's like three we're up to so far. Here comes number four. Now I didn't look in depth to see how many of these repeat. Uh, so I don't know if it's like you get one of each per opponent. I could certainly look at that, but we're trying to do a speed run here. Okay, this is single-sided. So this one is just more tables, but it is a single-sided. This is the part that I was waiting for, but not yet. Hey, hey, hey. All right, hold on. Here we've got a couple more pieces of paper. Get all the paper out of the box. Come on. Gah. They really packed it in there. All right. Here is the operational... Or well, there's two of these maps here. Now, again, these are paper. So if you want mounted, you're going to have to go back, find an old copy of the game, and then you can intermix the two. So this is got, is that Iceland? Yep, there's Iceland on here, part of Norway. Uh, I can unfold it, but you can't see the whole thing. I have to admit, for some reason, in pictures that I've seen, because there was no scale or anything to kind of um, show comparative size with. This is, these squares and things are a lot smaller than I imagined. And the water is, oh, the land is green. Water's uh, different shades of blue, kind of gives it some variation there. Here's Ireland, Britain, there's France. So I don't think you need to actually put counters on here unless they have some generic force representation counters and it looks like you're probably going to do a lot of your movement uh, plotted on paper somewhere tracking where things are because these squares are way too small to put those larger ship counters on. But again, I'm just guessing, but there you go. You got your two operational maps. And then there was one more Bismarck Allied Air Bases. Again, it's got a nice full color background. And there's Bismarck Axis there. So there's Allied Air Bases, Axis Air Bases. Let you know where they're located. I can see there's little grid coordinates on there. Track all the different air bases. And here is Aircraft Carrier. Now I do remember going to the website and they saw like you saw some pictures here, aircraft carriers. Bismarck Allied Air Base 2. Well, this I guess doesn't have a lot of carriers in it. Uh, looks like there's a few. But from what I read, I think they were going to do like these updated carrier cards where it was like had had the carrier on it and you would plot like your air, you know, you would like the air boss and plot out where things were on the carrier itself or something like it was like an aircraft carrier management page that was in color. And that's what I see here. A lot of these things are not just a plain back and black and white cardstock. They do have nice full color graphical backgrounds, which I enjoy. I'm a visual person. Then the counters. Well, first of all, oh, I love these tiny purple dice. Nice. Okay, that's all I can say. A couple of, uh, you get two dice, six. I like the purple color, and they're tiny. Oh, how adorable. I like that. I do, actually. 
All right, so here we've got the counters. So this is your 600 counters, and this is how they do it. These are way smaller than I thought. Uh, I'm gonna have to hold these up, but the ship counters, the thing is when you look on the website, they're gorgeous, and you get them in person, they are. These are really good counters. I would say of all the components I've seen in the box so far, these counters are by far the best part of the box. And they're punched the way I like too because they connect in the corners of the counters. So when I punch them out, let me just pop a couple. Oh man, you know I'm a counter person and I judge a game by the counters. Gotta be careful pulling them out but they connect at the corners, and you know what that means? Corner clipping, yes. This gives me about 700 counters that I'm gonna run through my counter clipper. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be a lot. Fortunately, I found some counter trays I can use to try and help organize some of this stuff, and I also see a lot of little plastic baggies in my future. But the art, they're great. They're not super thick counters, which is okay. You know, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm not, I'm not mad at all. This, this is actually quite good because I know what it's like. Counters, if you make them big and you gotta include 700, I mean, the price of the game just goes exponentially up. <clears throat> so this is actually quite serviceable. They fit on the tactical map just fine. I think they're gonna be great. And the fact that I can see all the numbers, I got a cough, hold on. <coughs> The fact that I can see all of the numbers, everything is actually quite legible. And you can see the artwork of the ship. So, just fine. And this is all ships. So this is ships. I'm not gonna show you all the ships, just trust me, they're ships. This is more ships. I see American flag, French, so uh, cruisers. So again, more ships. More ships, um, looking at, looks like transports. There's some aircraft, some uh, whatever, destroyer types. So this is quite a few, but these are the small kind of half inch type. So you got some larger ones and then you got a bunch of the half inch counters. That's how they get you. They give you a whole bunch of half inch counters. I'm telling you, that's a lot to have to clip. And then again, more ships, a lot of British, uh, German, yeah, so this is going to give me a lot to have to sort through and a lot to clip. So there's a lot, a lot, a lot. Fun. Well, there you go. You get two half sheets of counters and two full sheets of counters. You get two adorable dice. Your color may vary that you get. If you get, if you get this second edition Bismarck and you get two purple dice, let me know because that makes us purple dice buddy. It does. It'll make us friends. Um, I mean, I guess we can still be friends if you have other color dice, but it's just more special if you got purple dice as well. Then you get um, some player aid sheets, maps, and there were several of these player aid cards, a task force tracker, tactical map, player aid tracker, the rules, ship data, and the unbeknownst to me, huge book of scenarios. And that's everything that comes in Bismarck 2nd Edition from Avalanche Press. All right, thanks a lot for tuning in, and later we'll take a look at components, better review, things like that. But for now, that's what comes in the box. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.